My motivation for this project is to apply both the practical and theoretical skills and techniques which I have learnt in my previous year in design and technology and through independent research to accomplish the task of creating a unique modular joinery system as well as making good looking furniture which incorporates the joinery. Through multiple iterations of prototyping, modelling and testing, as well as idea generation from a range of sketches, I was able to constantly improve my designs until I reached this. And then this, which ended up being my final design. But none of this would have come without my previous prototypes and ideas, which all helped me to evaluate my designs against my criteria to evaluate success and my design brief. This was the first real prototype I made with timber and 3D printing, which took strong resemblance of the cow udder which I had been inspired by through the concepts of biomimicry. It did look slightly weird, so I worked on later improving this design to try allow it to have a better aesthetic quality and function. I 3D printed the ideas which I developed through my sketchnoting to create a different style of product with more of a focus on the creative and artistic quality of the product. I used Autodesk Mesh Mixer to create a mathematical algorithm called the Voronoi pattern, which ended up looking very cool, but reduced the practicality of the design and also made it uneven in small places. Because it had a high risk of not working properly, I only printed it with a very small scale on the Cocoon 3D printer. This rocking chair was created on the basis that the rocker could be cut out of a CNC and milled very easily, and also had a 3D printed component on the bottom which could hold weight and provide aesthetic and functional value. However, the joinery component was way too big. This product also is not very versatile to any other furniture styles as it is only suited to this one. The creation of my table incorporated a range of different production processes and techniques such as CAD design, 3D printing, domino joinery and standard timber cutting. All these processes came together to create an appealing end product. During production, I made sure that all WHS measures were followed and that none of the machinery were used in an unsafe manner. I learned more about industrial workshop practices while also wearing the correct PPE equipment at all times to minimize any issues. Concludingly, I believe that through the process of developing and strengthening my creative skills and processes, throughout my major work, that I have been able to make a highly successful product which reaches the standards which I created for it and the criteria to evaluate success, while also allowing me to make a product which not only offers a physical object to consumers, but the ability to interact and customise that product to increase their satisfaction and connection.